Hi everybody, Alex the Player from Expert Forex and in today's video we're going to be talking about the importance of fundamental information and how it is critical that you don't ignore fundamental information when you are trading. There are two main ways you can make trading decisions. You can take fundamental information into account or you can use technical analysis. And technical analysis is looking at the chart looking at support and resistance and indicators and all kinds of things and candlestick formations and that type of thing to make trading decisions. And the theory behind technical analysis is that the price takes all the news, all the information about that particular currency into account right now. So if you just analyze price action or the price movement, you don't need any other information. You can just focus on the price as it's presented on the charts and make your decisions purely on that. Then we look at fundamental analysis. Fundamental analysis says there are other things pushing the price up and down the whole time. And we need to take those kind of things into account. Now, some typical things that happened was when COVID kicked in and the world went into lockdown, it did not take an Einstein to tell you that the demand for fuel would drop dramatically and there would be a glut of fuel in the market. And therefore, any trader with their salt will short the oil price. And then other traders would look at the situation and say the world's in turmoil. What does the world do when it is in turmoil? And there's a concept called the flight to quality, which means the world then starts investing in quality investments like gold and silver and those type of things. And you saw this huge increase in the price of gold and silver, and it was predictable due to the COVID-19 situation. Just recently, Elon Musk got up and made a few really silly statements about the crypto market and the entire crypto market had collapsed straight away after that. But if you were sharp, you would have been listening to that particular discussion and you would have shorted all of the crypto currencies straight after that interview. That is, Those are a few examples of how you use fundamental analysis to make trading decisions. So the answer is you can't just look at technical analysis. You can't just look at fundamental analysis. You have to have an overlap between the two because even if you know the price of oil is going to drop you still use technical analysis to get in at the best time when there's a break of support or something like that so you do refine your trading decisions using technical analysis and a few other examples of, of fundamental analysis is if there are elections, if there are elections around a currency, if the U.S. is having an election, stay away from the U.S. currency crosses, trade something else until that all settles down. And those kind of things, those are the kind of things traders need to take into account. Now, it doesn't take much to just read the newspapers and, and look at the fundamental markets and realize what's going on in the markets. And you can actually get a feel of which currencies are going to start trending, which or which trading instruments are going to go up or down and that particular bias can give you such an edge in the market if you know that type of thing. I'm going to show you an example of using fundamental information to make some trading decisions on technical charts. So here's a, here's a chart showing the volumes. Now this indicator is free on MT4 and, and MT5, so it's a standard indicator. It, it is the volume indicator. And it's just purely surprise what kind of volumes are being traded in a particular instrument. And in this particular instrument, as you can see, there are sort of daily peaks uh, in, in volume and, and and, and let's have a look at what those daily peaks mean to us. So if you look at some of the peaks, there's a peak. Look at the long candle that happened there. There's a peak, the long candle. There's a, there's a peak. Now what happened there is there were long candles and that peak 
managed to stop this fall in the price and and stabilize it so there's another long long candle one so so, so we immediately realized that increases in volume can st start a new trend it can stop an existing trend or it can reverse an existing trend. So if you look on the chart, there's examples of all of those where this was reversed, this was continued, that one was stopped, this one was started, that one was reversed, that one was continued, and then this one was continued, and this one's possibly starting a new trend. So some traders trade volume. They sit around and this is a four hour chart, but they sit around watching the one minute chart. And when there's a spike on this one minute chart, then they know that something's going to happen. And normally it's a, a reversal of what's happened before. So if the price was going down, there's a huge spike. It means it's going to reverse and, and go up now. So they use fundamental information to make their trading decisions and quite interesting here in uh, in this example all of the times of these spikes are all at the same time 1600 1600 1600 1600 1600 1600 and so on so fundamental uh, traders would argue that it's because of the increase in volumes that the uh, market has changed and moved uh, others uh, technical analysis uh, traders would say oh no it's the it's the candle formations or break uh, or bounce on support and resistance and that kind of that's how they would justify these moves so there's various ways of trading the market but i'm going to ha have a look at some basic information that you can use for daily trading so on your on your screen you can see an analysis of the pound uh, looking at the weekly daily four hour one hour and 15 minute charts and at the moment the market appears to be going up there we go it's, it's pointing up on that one pointing up there pointing up there probably pointing up there and and so on but the trader then looks at this and says look maybe I should wait until a sell happens because there's so many divergences here on the weekly there's a divergence there's a, a divergence on the on the daily there's a divergence on the four hour there's a, a really strong divergence on the uh, hourly so the trader favors let's say a sell and and there's other reasons here's a double uh, there's a double top on the on the weekly double top on the on the day on the daily there's a double top on the four hour and so on and even there you can see a, a refinement of that double top that's just happened there so there's a whole lot of reasons why the trader might think this currency will start going south pretty soon but now's not the time because this uh, little trend that's happening there has to turn into a sell trend and that will that turns into a sell trend. and this is how it happens it happens on the 15 minute first then it transfers to the daily the hourly and then to the four hour and the trader then makes a decision but before you make a decision whether to buy or sell the pound let me show you what you should be doing. So, so let's say we've decided we want to sell the pound. So what we do, one of the first things that you should be doing is going to Forex Factory and looking at the announcement schedule. Now we want to trade the pound, so we don't want to look at all the yen and all those kind of things. So what you do is you go and filter, you take, I only want to see the, the pound, uh, you knock off all the rest, and I want to only see the most important ones. So I don't want to see all those other ones. So this is a, has a great filter system. So you apply and it tells you what's going to happen this week for the pound. And it says tomorrow, today is Monday, tomorrow the, the uh, Bank of England governor is going to speak and they're we need to research that particular and there's more information if you want details about that that and what the likely outcomes are going to be uh, you click on that so so there's a, a warning so if we're going to enter a long-term trade we must trade up to that time of day to make sure that we don't get caught in the possible ramifications of that announcement 
and and, I, and I'm going to show you why we we don't want to be caught in those ramifications. And then you go down and you say, oh, on Thursday there's uh, the uh, a preliminary uh, GDP uh, for the USD, uh, which is the other side of the of the pound USD cross. So we've got to pay attention to those times, and we must be careful about trading the pound USD over those red periods. So then you might say, do these things really matter? Do these announcements actually matter? And let's go and have a look at the pound. If we go and look at the pound charts, and again, I must stress, the Forex factory just supplies the most amazing information. And we go and look, and let's have a look, it's loading something there. All right, it's loading the pound USD. It's, it's the four hour uh, and this is where it is at the moment. There's the double top that we identified, and there's a there's a there's actually a, a support line running up here. And if it breaks that support, it could go places. But then we say, all right, let's have a look at how the pound has been bashed around by announcements. Now, announcements or speeches uh, can do. Three, uh, two, three things, and I've mentioned them before. They can they can stop a trend, they can start a trend, and they can reverse a trend. So let's go and have a look at some of the announcements that have had an impact on the pound. And Forex Factory feeds these announcements onto their charts. That's what's so great, and you can go back, way back. Uh, and look at the impact of announcements on a particular currency. And you can do this for every single currency. So these charts are fantastic information for you to convince yourself that announcements have an impact on the price movement. So that if you are wanting to sell the pound or you want to buy the pound you need to know what announcements are pushing the pound at the moment and in which directions are those announcements going so what we're seeing here is that there was a, a trend going up can you see that trend going up and then there was there, there was an announcement and the announcement didn't like that trend and it actually reversed it so it's reversing that trend so the pound is under the influence of a recent announcement that reversed a trend downwards, down. So the, the, the general current information in the market is pushing the price of the pound down. It's very important to know that because if, like I said, I want to sell the pound there, I need to know that the most recent announcement has actually encouraged a sell. But then let's have a look at some of these announcements. So, as I say, let's have a look. There was a nice trend. Then suddenly an announcement happened and it stopped. It stopped the trend. So there's an example of an announcement stopping a trend. It didn't reverse it, it just stopped it. Then there was another announcement and started a small trend downwards. Then there was another announcement and it started a trend upwards and then it just doodled along. And then there were a few announcements here that actually created a fantastic trend. Now, you'd expect something to happen here, but it didn't. It just went sideways at one point. And then there was another announcement, and look what happened. Down, down she went. Then the next announcement stabilized. Next one, down it went. And then the next announcement pushed the price up. Next one went, uh, stabilized the market again. And then the next announcement pushed the price up again. And... And then it, it went down. It went down again. Then that that announcement actually stopped this downward, this downward trend. It stopped it, and then another announcement came in and accelerated the the, uh, the price downwards. And then, the, as we've seen here, there was a nice trend upwards, and the those announcements actually reversed the trends. So here you can see that the price gets pushed around by announcements. You know, uh, not always, I would say 70% of the time uh, it is the case, but an, as I said, an announcement can either stop a trend, reverse a trend, or start a, uh, start a trend. So this information on Forex Factory is actually critical before you place a trade. You don't want to place a, a trade when the previous announcement was actually uh, 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 going for a buy and you are intending to sell. 
Now, in this case, this the previous announcement it was a sell uh, uh, momentum, so therefore uh, it's safer to sell than to buy. You, you also don't want to sell into a trend like that if you know there's no announcement that's going to stop that trend. So there's a lot of things you can learn from looking at these announcement charts. And, I, and, and the purpose of this video was actually to make you aware of these fantastic charts on Forex Factory where you can come and have a look. If you're about to make a trade, just come and have a look at that trade on the Forex Factory announcement charts. Uh, you can find them in this link, the, the, the market, and come and have a look. And you can filter these, uh, you can set up any instrument you want, and it will remember that instrument, and you can then just, up at the top here, click on those particular ones and have the, these charts displayed. But it's good for you to be conscious of the fact that these announcements push the pass around and you don't want to go against the latest push. Now I hope you've, uh, you've learned something new by watching this video uh, and it's raised your level of awareness about announcements and fundamental information a little bit more. A lot of traders trade blindly they don't look at fundamental information at all they ignore the news that blatantly says that the crypto market is is crashing and all that kind of thing but they still make trading decisions based on charts and and only and that is very dangerous so in the next trade you make come and have a look at these charts and say is the direction of in which i want to trade supported by the most recent announcements that are uh, that are occurring that have occurred and what future announcement could stop reverse or increase the trend so you need to know those kind of things your timing has to be good either exit before that announcement or do research as to whether it is sound to stay in in that particular trend so from me alex deploy cheerio